I keep hearing the strangest noises. It's like, almost like there's something else out here. It's probably just the wind in the mist though. Good morning, this is Quinlan, and I'm here just inside the trailhead of Mount Iwate on the Umagaishi Trail, which is the most common, most popular, and among the safest trails, as it's rather short. And today, I want to explain to you about an interesting bit of local culture surrounding hiking this particular trail of Mount Iwate. On the eighth station, or most of the way up the mountain, there's a rather large lodge. It's on a plateau that's just below the final ascent to the summit, around 1800-ish meters. They have a wood-burning stove in there, and from late June through, I believe, mid-October, it's staffed, and people volunteer to help out and bring up various supplies to help keep costs down. As it is, it costs about 15 US dollars, or 1,700 yen, to spend a night there, and they have little bits of food, um, cup noodle, um, instant coffee, and some other things that are available. So at the base of the Mugai Trail, there is a large stack of firewood, and what people will do of their own free accord is carry up a log or two or more, depending on the people, and uh, carry it up the trail to the 8th station and put it there at the lodge for everyone to use. In this era of ultra lightweight gear, I love that people are willing to sacrifice uh, their experience or uh, their bodies a little bit in carrying more weight up a mountain just to help out the people who are spending the night up there in the lodge. To be honest, I've been rather neglectful of this tradition, and until today, I have yet to ever carry a log up. I'm sort of embarrassed about that. Part of that is I don't often hike this trail, I often uh, do other trails, but I have no excuse. And so um, to remedy that situation, I'm gonna start carrying logs up. And so today I'm just carrying one lightweight log, and there's almost no one else on the trail. There's only one other car in the parking lot. All right, time's a ticking. Off we go. I just heard what can only be described as a bear call, roar, growl of sorts off to the backside of the trail. And uh, yeah, I just did my little monkey call. Woo, woo. And I don't hear anything else, but I'm glad I got my pepper spray at my belt. It is on rainy days that supposedly they seem to be a little more active. So I might get lucky and get one on film. I don't know if that's lucky or not. I'm, I've been saying I want to film a bear, but now that I'm all alone here on a rainy day, I'm not so sure. <laughs> all right, back to it. These purple flowers are called Shirane Aoi. They are said to only grow in pristine places like Mount Iwate and other mountains with clean water and clean air. You might wonder, doesn't it get boring to do the same hiking route again and again and again? And that's a fair question. To be honest, I do prefer variety, and that's uh, one of the reasons why I often talk up Mount Iwate is because there are like six or seven different routes that you can take and um, you can bury them, you can do them in different combinations, you can connect a few different ones together. <clears throat> so there is a lot of variety here, but yesterday and today I'm hiking exactly the same route, like no difference whatsoever. I'm starting to see a lot of mosquitoes around me right here, so I'm gonna get moving again before they start uh, taking the blood out of me. Mm. This is called Ko Momori Iwa, or Child Protecting Rock. That is probably because it seems to be in this shape, sort of so it can hold something like a child, smaller rocks. And some people pray to this rock as they go up for the safety and protection or safe delivery of children. I'd like to point out that the Umagaishi Trail is actually um, split into two trails for the wide length of it, from about the second station mark all the way until the seventh station when they rejoin again. It's uh, the new trail and the old trail. The new trail, which I'm on right now, is also called the forest trail because it goes through the forest. And I chose that today because it is raining a little bit and that's got a little bit more protection from the rain. Also, I like it because it's less gravelly and you slip less, though there are some, some scrambling up some rocks, which I like. 
The other trail, the old trail, is also called the Panoramic Trail, and that one has an amazing view, though today we'd just be lost in a cloud. There would be no view. I love all these twisted little birch trees that you start getting close to the fifth station on this trail. Look at this. What great trees, huh? More of these Sharonea Aoi flowers. that I keep hearing these strange, some kind of noises. I'm not sure even how to describe it. I'm tempted to say roar, but that doesn't make any sense. There's nothing here that roars, but, and it's a little bit muffled. But something's playing tricks on me. Maybe just something to do with the sound of the rain and the trees and the wind. to the lodge. I've almost got to the place where I deposit that uh, log that I'm carrying with me. So I will go to the lodge and we'll say goodbye to log. Here we are arriving at the eighth station, a lodge standing in slight contrast against the mists. But it's empty. There's no one here. There's no one here. I keep hearing the strangest noises. It's like almost like there's something else out here. It's probably just the wind in the mist though. Let's take a look at where we put the logs that everyone brings. So you see here is the lodge, and here is where you stack the logs. Not so many right now yet. This should all be full of logs. You can see this? All right, so here's the log, this dinky little lightweight log, hardly any exercise at all, but it's symbolic more than anything else. Next time I'll try and bring a bigger backpack and I can fit three or four, we'll see. So, with this symbolic offering, I came. <laughs> I have to say though, I don't know if it's the way the wind is or the mist, but uh, something's really tripping me out. I keep hearing something. The only other person who's on the mountain today, I uh, passed them just as I was coming up to this plateau and they're gone now. So, right now it's just me up here on the volcano, I think. All right, let's get moving. This is what it looks like. Pouring rain, windy on the summit. I'm smiling. This too is fantastic. This too is glorious. Just a little rain and wind, but it sure looks exciting, doesn't it?
Aside from being really, really wet, um, the conditions actually aren't that bad. I lucked out and the wind has died down momentarily just while I'm at the summit. I hardly ever hike on days like this because it's usually not pleasant, but today I'm loving this, I have to say. This is a nice change of pace. Sorry about the wet lens, but it's, it's raining. What can you do? This is the 10th for 2021 and my fifth summit in May. I need to get a job, huh? All right, time to head back down before the weather turns bad. Back down from the summit to the 8th Station Lodge again, and it's still raining. Not very windy though anymore, the wind sort of died off. It's starting to rain a little bit harder, so I'm gonna shut up and uh, put the camera away and go back down. I hope you'd enjoy this little rainy day, this fun experiment um, on this misty mountain, Mount Iwate. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, please follow me. I'm Quinlan on Instagram, Go North J on Twitter. Um, please consider supporting me on Patreon. I put um, really nice uh, drone videos once a month um, and some other stuff as well sometimes. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the trails.